Assessment of Higher Mental Functions The first step in assessing the higher mental functions is to determine patient's level of consciousness. This is done by using various scales such as Glasgow Coma Score or Alert Verbal Pain Unresponsive AFU Score. The assessment of higher mental functions can be made using Mini Mental Scale Examination MMSE as well. The assessments made include test of frontal lobe function keeping in mind the social and educational background. Questions are asked to assess perception, mood, cognition, orientation, short-term memory, long-term memory, concentration, beliefs, activity, and drug abuse. The assessment of conscious level is made using Glasgow Coma Score. The three domains tested are eye response, verbal response, and motor response, collectively called as EMV response. In eye response, if the patient does not have spontaneous eye opening, it is scored as 1. Eye opening in response to painful stimulus would be scored as 2. Eye opening in response to speech would be scored 3 and eye opening spontaneously would be scored 4. In verbal responses, if there is no response at all, it would be scored as 1. If your patient produces incomprehensible moaning or groaning sounds, that would be scored as 2. If it uses inappropriate words, that would be scored 3. If he has confused uh, speech, that would be scored as Four and uh, very well coordinated oriented uh, speech that would be scored as five. In motor responses, there is no response at all. That would be no movement uh, shown would be scored as one. If he extends his limbs in response to pain, that would be scored as two. And if flex the limbs in response to pain or pin prick, that would be scored as three. And uh, when he withdraws, that would be four. And when he localizes, that would be 5. And if he follows the command, that would be scored as 6. So the total is uh, 15. And depending upon the score, the patient Glasgow Coma score is mentioned as 15 by 15, which means fully alert oriented patient. The patient's cognition and higher mental functions are assessed using a mini mental scale assessment. Uh, this test is performed keeping in mind patients' uh, social and educational background and various uh, questions are asked to note the patient's orientation, time, place and person, uh, any uh, memory defect or uh, recent and remote memory and simple calculations and simple cognitive uh, functions to assess whether patient can have uh, answer to some abstract questions or not. So now we'll be proceed with examination of a higher mental function in a patient uh, with an average, uh, say, background. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Kya Kya naam hai aapka? Kya घर का आपका क्या एड्रेस है चोंग में कोई गली नंबर मकान नंबर है चोंग में जाए ना तो मेन वे से गुजरते हो थोड़ी भी दरबार के ठीक है हां हां ना सर ठीक है अब कब से वहां रह रहे हो हमें वहां 15 साल हो गए उम्र कितनी है आपकी 22 साल बड़े सर कब पैदा हुए थे सन याद है मुझे सन 1997 में अच्छा पूरे कभी याद है कि स्कूल गए स्कूल पढ़ी नहीं मैं पढ़ा नहीं बिल्कुल मैं मेरे साथ साथ पढ़ा नहीं मैं इसके लिए नहीं पढ़ा अच्छा ठीक है अच्छा थोड़ी बहुत गिनती आती है गिनती आती है दो और दो कितने होते हैं चार चार में से छह माइनस कर दो तो चार में से छह माइनस कर दो हो सकते हैं चार से छह माइनस नहीं हो सकते ठीक है अच्छा अगर मैं कहूं उल्टी गिनती सुनाओ तो कुछ सुना सकते हो 
कितने लोग सौ से उठी गिन गिनती सुना जरा सौ से आती है कहाँ से आती है दस बीस तक आती है चलो बीस से उल्टी गिनती सुना पर उन्नीस सौ अठारह सतारह सोलह पंद्रह चौदह तेरह बारह दस ग्यारह और बाकी आजकल कोई मतलब घूम फिर से देख के हालात तो नहीं आते तुम्हें In an examination setting, while taking long case history, most of the assessment on higher mental functions can be made while taking the history itself. You may not need to repeat all this during neurological examination. However, while taking a neuropsychiatric history or assessing for dementia, a detailed assessment is required.